to talk a little bit about the NBA now? Um, or are we going to save that for some other time? We'll save it. Okay. Because well, we just we just finished the All Star break, so now we got the second half of the season come up. RG three ran a four. Could, yeah, you know what we could do? I mean, we could talk a little bit about that and touch on some of the things that are going I'm gonna on. Right now. You, Obviously, we just had the here's, slam dunk contest. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm the fuck skip that bullshit. <laughs> I, I'm going to talk about uh, one uh, team in particular, what? and that's the team in Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Okay. And here here's a lot of things. A lot of people are high on Oklahoma. A lot of people that I talk to have Oklahoma <laughs> in the finals. Fucking Oklahoma bud is bad as shit. But let me ask you this. What That's was what was Oklahoma's problem last year in the playoffs? Huh? What was Oklahoma City's problem last year in the playoffs? When the games counted. Right now, to me, the regular season, when you're Oklahoma City and the Heat and the Lakers, you don't have to go out and kill yourself every game to get no. make it to the playoffs. So what in your opinion, what did what was Oklahoma City's weakness in the playoffs last year? I mean, I, I just think their front court depth and stuff like that. I just I just think they don't they don't have a really now they've got Perkins but I don't think they have and depth. They, well, they got also Ibaka. Yeah, Ibaka's nasty. Yeah, surge surge in the middle is nasty. But to me, their biggest issue is when it comes down to the the last five seconds and mm-hmm. somebody needs to take a shot. Yeah, the Lakers go to Kobe. Mm-hmm. The Heat go to <clears throat> Wade. Uh-huh. The Celtics go to Pierce and or Allen. Allen. Either one of them can right. do it. Do you see the common theme? Mm-hmm. They know the role. Yeah. They know who's getting the ball. Right. Bynum's not going to hoist I one I would up. have to say it's Durant. He has you, changed. But that's therein lies the issue. Because last year in the playoffs, if anyone remembers, Westbrook and Durant got into it. Because Westbrook took a game-winning shot or, or took the last shot when Durant thought he should have it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you what. If they don't get that shit cleared up, mm-hmm. that's going to be a bigger problem. And I don't give a shit who you have on your team. I, if you can't figure out your role, stay in your lane and do your thing, look, Westbrook, you got paid. Right. Here, You know what your object is? Get the ball to Durant. Yeah. If you can't get the ball to Durant, then you take it to the bucket and score. Right. That's- I, it's, I, I, I will say this. By default, the Oklahoma City Thunder, I think, um, it, it's not so much they've got better, and to me, the other teams have not. Right. I um, think the West so is hurt. Yeah, the West is hurt. I, I think that when you look at the West, and that's what we're talking about right now, I mean, obviously the All-Star weekend just passed. I mean, you're going to see over this week, this week, you're going to probably see some moves. Obviously, the Lakers acquired Rasheed Wallace. D- who knows why they did it? I mean, trade I don't bait. know why they got the black Gorbachev. Trade bait. They're right. going to trade him. So they, <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to create some depth at Fort. So maybe they're going to get ready to put something together. Now, if that does not happen, so that's that's still it's all irrelevant right now. You look at who the Thunder had to go through last. year. It was Dallas, where dallas is just not the team they were last year and and one of the things that dallas did have and care was saying this because he was a, he kind of follows the mavericks is tyson chandler and all that inside presence they had they got rid of that shit, and that hurts them what is wrong with tyson chandler can somebody explain that to me? because he's a great player it looks that way i don't know why people dish him off man but he is uh and you know who was like that a lot at the beginning of the career it was lamar odom he was like that and uh i just i i think that the thunder they don't have – I mean, the only people – and they asked Kevin Durant, who who are the two teams that could present a challenge for you, who you worry about? He goes, well, you always have to say Dallas because they're the defending champions and then obviously the Lakers, you know? He goes, but but when I look at it right now, being a Lakers fan, no way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Thunder are here and the Lakers are here. Dallas, really, no way. Mm-mm. I just think that the Lakers need a point really bad. They need a point um, and fucking and, – and Dallas needs some, some uh, big men. See, my, my thing is, is when it gets down to the playoffs, there's a certain mental edge you need, and I just don't think Oklahoma has it yet. Yeah. I don't think they have a killer. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you what, even after the Lakers, they just played Oklahoma City before the All-Star break and lost. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what, and By even Lakers. after the loss, Kobe Bryant was, they don't belong on my court. Yeah. Kobe Bryant was like, I don't give a shit. Well, he, Kobe Bryant basically said, you know, they're not sitting at my lunch table. Right. Because they don't have any rings. Because they don't. I mean, he's like, okay, my lunch table, you got rings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, but, but the bottom line is, this is Kobe, they just beat you guys by 15 points. I, I don't care. I think, in the play, I think in the playoffs, if, if it was just one game, or actually even in seven, I, I would I'd give the edge. Just the mental, we've been there, we've done it, we're grinding, we, we're hungry, we're going to kill you. Right. It's the Lakers. I just yeah. don't think Oklahoma I, has that. And I hope it play. obviously, I hope being a Lakers fan, fan but just last season, it did not happen like that. They just got wrecked. Yeah. If you recall, wrecked. Um, um, I think they need to, I, I think the Lakers need trade. They need to get a little bit of youth on the team, and they need to get some people that do not have rings and are hungry for rings. If they can do that, if Mitch Kupchak can work some magic, and if there's a man in the NBA that can do it, if he can do that, then yes. Who do you go after? 
Hmm. Do you try to get Deron Williams away from the Nets? I can't even imagine. Like, I mean, when you and I sit back here and think of scenarios, and it's like what, what Mitch Kupchak said to Kobe Bryant. He's like, look, I can't do the Lakers franchise on justice and say, no, I'm not going to do something like this because then it tells people what I'm thinking. Mitch Kupchak is probably the best at the NBA at what he does. I, I really, truly think that. He – there's something that he's thinking right now. That guy is good at it. And uh, it's the reason the Lakers have continued to be successful. You know, if you look at the other franchise on the east side that's comparable, it's the Celtics. They have had, but look how quickly they're skidding. Yeah, because they haven't done anything. They haven't done anything. They're, they're, they're you know, best I, piece is Ray John Rondo, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Lakers have been to the Western Conference Championship half of the times it's been in existence. Half of the time, 50% of the times they're there. Whereas the, Le the Celtics have their numbers in championship games, but they're not as consistent at getting to the Eastern Conference Finals. So there's something that, to be said for that. Mitch Kupchak is probably going to try to come up with something. Um, right now, I got the Heat and I got the Thunder, because let's go to, over to the east side. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now. Right now they're saying the MVP is coming down, but it's going to come down between Durant and LeBron. Right. LeBron's playing out of his mind. Yeah, LeBron is playing. I mean, it's funny, too, because – it kind of is a little mass because he is he does have some a little bit more talent around. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of help. Help but, and so, but, it, but there's no you know the, the denying thing, his numbers. Are the crazy thing Kevin here. and I have talked about a lot is <clears throat> there is not one single person who has won a championship in the NBA by himself. Kareem didn't do it. Wilt didn't do it. Mm -mm. Kobe's never done it. Shaq hasn't done it. Jordan didn't do it. You no. can't win a championship in the NBA by yourself, and they proved that with Jordan because they let yeah. Jordan go for 40 and his team still lost. The only team I can honestly say that won a championship as of like, – there was, there was a few teams. One were the Pistons when they had Rasheed and they had uh, – uh, Hamilton, and they, had, they just had a bunch of mixed match guys that had great skill sets at each position. Nobody was the franchise player on that team. Actually, and I, this is going back to the 70s when they play uh, the the Bullets. The when they were then the Washington Bullets played the Su Seattle SuperSonics. That was another team that was like that. Wow. Like, like they beat the SuperSonics. Think about this. People can't name. I mean, they say Jack Sigmund, stuff like that from the Supersonics. Nobody can name a lot of players on that team. But meanwhile, it was Elvin Hayes, Unsell. Wes Unsell. You could see the t players that they had on their team. So it was uh, – to, to touch on a couple teams in the East, uh, Philadelphia <coughs> and 76ers were really hot. Now they're only six games above 500. So they're starting to cool off, but they still have a three-and-a-half game lead over the New York Knicks. Right. Who, uh, if you say New York Knicks, you say, Linsanity, Linsanity. <laughs> let's just – let's back up a little bit. Give, right. give the guy some time. I, I'm not writing him off. I think he can play. When Deron Williams comes out and say he can play, right? I, I think he can, and, and it's still right. – he'll be okay. You got Chicago leading the Central at 27-8 and eight with Indiana at 21-12, and 12, which puts them, you know, right in the hunt. And then you have Miami, Orlando, and Atlanta. Yeah. Which seems the Southeast region seems to be the strongest. You look Southeast. at Orlando. Look at Orlando right now in the conference standings. People don't talk about them much. Just right up in there again at third. Yeah, they won't be when Big Boy's gone. If he's gone, then it's a wrap. Yeah. But I, I, I will say this: when you look at the front runners right now, which are the Heat and the Bulls, that's what the Bulls are the team that poses the biggest challenge right now. Right now, as it is for for, for the Heat, because they match up at every position. Mm -hmm. um, the Knicks could they match up at every position? Yeah, starting but, five, their bench. I mean, I I don't think I don't think there is a complete team out of the East. When I say complete, a good, a strong starting five along with a, a good bench. Because if you look at who's coming off the bench for Miami, oh. I mean, they got two shooters with yeah. Miller and Battier, but it, Haslam and yeah. and Norris Cole. No, you're exactly you're yeah. exactly right with that shit. I, I mean, told I told Kevin, <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't not be mad if they packaged, you know, hit maybe the standings. Hit the standings for when you look at the NBA right now. You mm -hmm. look at the standings and then. Um, Let's see. Uh, I know, guys, we're kind of – bear with us. But if you're looking at the standings, and then I just flipped on Major League Baseball. Um, I don't think their standings are out yet Huh? for no. Major League Baseball. <laughs> if you look right now, this is what I, I wanted to bring up. It's a good team. Indiana. Yeah. They have got some depth. They're third yeah, in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, they're third. Conference. And, uh, and, I mean, they're hanging around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're – They're young. Yeah. They won their last four. They're young. They've got some – they they were hungry. They were in the playoffs last year. Yeah, they were in the playoffs damage. last year. They're around. They're, they're a team degree reckless. I mean, the other teams, eh, like you said, Philadelphia's kind of skidding. Orlando and Atlanta have been inconsistent at times. New York's come, working their way back, but they're still under 500. My, my um, problem with or, or the Indiana is they're 28th overall in assists. 
Yeah. I mean, they're they're ninth in points allowed, which I mean, let's face it, defense wins championships. But that means your offense to me is probably. This is smooth. another thing I want to bring up, and people are so high on the Heat, and and, and and rightfully so. They look great. They look great last year too. But when you look at the East, and this is the thing where people don't realize, like the West has won the championship, like. I don't know, some crazy fucking, I mean, the Lakers, the Lakers, the fucking, the, the Mavericks, the last three years has come from the West. Even though those teams, Boston and the Heat have looked so strong, look at the Heat sitting in eighth place is Boston with a 15 and 17 record. Okay, that's a playoff team, right? Now, when you take it and you go over to the West. 18 and 16 is your eighth place team. Portland. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and so you look at these teams when they have to come out of the West, they're fucking playing some quality teams all the way through the playoffs. Yeah. And then when they have to go into one series against the one from the East, you see what happened with Dallas and the Heat last year. Mm -hmm. It went down to seven games, and who won the seventh game? Yeah. The da Dallas. So you could see that happening again. <clears throat> and Chicago's know? only half game out of first uh, yeah. overall in the Eastern Conference. And yeah. I, I just I, I want Miami to stay away from having to play the Knicks in the yeah. first round. Now, San Antonio is another team that I know – I crafty old veterans. They are, and they have such a good fucking coach. The problem is, is that they, they do this every year for the last couple of years. They've just incredible during the course of the season. And then when the playoffs come, they just fall apart. Fold Something like a happens, cheap Which is not usually Popovich's style, but it's no. just like it's happened the last couple of years. If it doesn't happen, they could be in the running again because people got to realize they're another team that's won a couple championships over the last they're, decade. They're so. scoring. For an older team, they're fourth in the league in scoring, averaging 99 points a game, and they're fourth <clears> in assists. Which, yeah. Anyway, so, that's our NBA coverage after the All-Star break. We're getting the fuck out of here Deuces. and getting some rest and stuff. Peace.